Hey, the fox is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to share the videos, being able to relate to the things that um, I put out, and basically helping you on your journey. So I'm, I feel very grateful and blessed to be able to be a part of your journey along the way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or it gives you good vibes, please go ahead and share with a uh, loved one, family, or friend, eat, uh, or a fellow empath that are going through some really trying dark times right now that needs confirmation and validation. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you've been sending me. Um, it's greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, video, my meditation music is, uh, what is it, um, negative thoughts, remove negative thoughts and uh, subconscious blockages. I think that's what it is because my phone's uh, doing two things at once so I can't pull it back up. But it's something about your, your mental blocks. It's a meditation to clear all that out. Um, and today my video is about uh, Twin Flame 101, fix what you can in your life and leave the rest to the universe. We do need to, um, you know, if at times we fall short of situations that we're going through whether it could be past memories or depression anxiety or you know you're just going you know going through daily battles with ourselves we always going through something you know trying to get your bills straight trying, trying to you know maintain your family household and taking care of one another or whatever it could be and it is just like we when we get to that point where we're stressed out we feel like things that we're praying for aiming for needs to be there right now at that time you know I get like that all the time especially when stuff has been happening to me because I feel like I'm getting attacked all the time and that's why you know I just tell God just give me the strength to get through this that's all I ask because it's just too much that's going on and it's just like I feel really good when I, I get ready to do these videos because the things that I might be experiencing at that time or things that they're drawing me to talk about to bring awareness to other people that I might not be going through but it's it's a blessing to be able to do that and it's like when we're going through stressful times uh like I said, we tend to want the things that we dream or are aiming for to be right then, right now, because we don't want to deal with the pain anymore. We can't, we don't want to deal with the situation anymore. We're just ready for it to be fixed and move on. But there's always a reason why it's going on the way it's going on. And it's just the fact is sometimes we try to, you know, fix things that we have no control over. Like when it comes to other people, how they respond to us or how they act towards us or whatever if you're like in an abusive relationship and stuff like that and you're trying to fix you, you, uh, the other person we can't do that we only have control of ourselves you know and they basically want us to be able to stop and look at the things that we're, we're facing in our lives the problems and issues that we uh that we keep dwelling on um if you're able to fix the things that you can fix in your life those are the things you should do you know you can fix how you, uh, let me turn this down a little bit, I was just making sure y'all can feel that, it's messing with my heart chakra right now, my throat chakra, oh my goodness, I can feel vibrations coming out my throat <laughs> and my, my chest, that was crazy, but yeah, uh, being able to go through all that and we have a bad habit of trying to fix everything, the only things you should be trying to fix when it comes to you and only you, you know, we can't, um, fix other people you know even though as empaths we try to help people change we try to have them especially as hayokas we are always trying to make people see a different perspective 
you know, like you want them to be able to see it this way because, you know, if we're biased out of the situation, we're looking inward, you know, towards the, you know, looking out, you know, looking out towards the end situation. Um, a lot of times when we're, especially when it comes to other people, we allow them to see that, you know, this can be fixed. You know, you can be able to do this, but if it's coming to other people, you can't do that, you know? So it, it's just like, you know, you can fix how respond to things you know a lot of people are coming to our lives to test us to see you know it's just like when you go to a new job I remember I went to this job it was a good good paying job and I mean they make you want to earn your money but it's just like you work with a lot of women if you're a woman you know how it is working with a lot of women and it would just be you know I was the new face in town you know I live in Georgia but you know they they were like you don't have a southern accent I was like I'm not from the south <laughs> they're like where you're from I'm a military brat don't ask me where I'm from because I'm all over the place you know we've never stayed a place too long but it's like I had to deal with a lot of stuff you know these people used to mess with me you know sabotage my stuff because they knew if they can get you out the door before not, uh, not that 90 days you know you're not competition to them anymore so when I actually stay I end up saying like three years <laughs> but it got to that point where I had to snap on people like hey don't mess with me you know I hated to show out my character out like that but sometimes that has to happen for people to you know like pump their brakes and leave you alone but now it's like I've been through so much like it takes a minute for me to be able to you know, really allow things to bother me. You know, if I feel like things are bothering me around my circle, I tend to, you know, if that's something I, you know, I can't deal with anymore when it comes to other people, just leave them alone, you know. But if it's like with us, you, with within self, we know what we can control. You know, we only can control ourselves about how you respond to things, how you react to things. You know, if you're quick to let things go, you know, I used to always look at my dad like, how are you able to just say, oh, okay, you're forgiven. I'm like, what? You know, me, I'm just like, shoot, you could have passed away and I still got an issue with you. Like, hey, you know, such and such died. I'm like, mm-hmm. Well, I hope they all right. You know, they don't owe me $10 and stuff. I'm like, girl, they just died. I don't care. They, sh they shouldn't have did me like that. And I was just like, dad, I used to be that way. You know, especially if they did me in the wrong kind of way. I've had people like that. Next thing you know, they, you know, they're gone. And now it's just like, I don't allow things like that to affect me anymore because it's just like you have to look at it you know in a different perspective like if you don't retaliate against negativity that means that tells a lot about your character and a lot about theirs you know ten, people tend to have drama like that in their lives when they're when they're not secure in their own self or you know they struggle to love themselves they tend to do that so it's just like things we know we can control by fixing ourselves healing ourselves being able to recognize when we're getting played for a fool being able to recognize when somebody's trying to throw that drama, you know, that drama hat at you, you know, and be able to walk away, know your circle, know your strengths, know your weaknesses and whatever the weaknesses is, practice on healing them things so you don't have those weaknesses anymore. So basically, when you know you're doing everything you can and it's not, you know, it's not working, you're like, okay, God, I tried this, I tried that, I tried this. Sometimes it has to let it work out for itself because you know, nature, you know, I said nature, but nature too, you know, universe has your back. You know, especially if you know you're pushing out positivity. You know, there's times I get aggravated because I feel like, you know, I don't push any kind of negative aspect towards people. I might be mad at you. I mean, even with people I'm disgusted with now, I'm just like, you know what? I know I was nice to that person. I know I sent love to that person. I helped them in ways that they probably wouldn't have been able to do for themselves. And, you know, that's how you did me. I just cut you out of my life. But I don't mean, I, I just love you from a distance. I ain't got to do nothing with you. I'm not going to have no hatred in my heart for you. Because I'm going to let nature deal its course. So, you know, I just, when people do something bad, I just, like, I, I hope, I pray for, for whatever you deserve. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't wish anything on it. I say, I hope you get whatever you deserve. And it's just, I pray for you to get whatever you deserve. And it's not like you're saying it in a vengeful thing because I feel like whatever is for that person will be for that person. I ain't got to wish anything on you. I can just say, God bless and let the rest of it do its course. You know, and it's just like, you know, things have a way of let God letting you see it. You know, I was at a job before and um, I was working at this place and I had told them the issue I was having 
and who my father was and the reason why I didn't want people to know where I worked at because where my family was. I didn't want them to be able to know where I was. I don't want them all up in my business. And they were okay with it at first, but then when they see that I was, you know, they, they were on my Facebook and seeing me with pictures with people in my dad's circle and stuff like that. So they got jealous. So I had even like bosses coming up to me like we would have a morning meeting in the morning and it would say sex sexual explicit uh, explicit things about my dad in front of me just to see if that because it was like somebody who already worked with me they knew I beat the hell out of somebody last time and said something about my dad and then they obviously they went back and told that person like hey you know how to pull her buttons mention something about her dad and then it was just this gross, wide offside lady talking about how these things about my dad and I'm just like, you really trying to press it, ain't you? You really trying to test my craze today? And I just ended up quitting. <laughs> on It was like on the, it was some moon. Um, I think it was like August 21st. It was whatever in August, that big moon, that big shift. I ended up quitting on that day because I already see that I was about to flip that building on, on her like that. So I didn't allow things like that to affect me. I just walked out of that job because it's just like, I can't deal with this. You're saying stuff like this, it ended up getting me fired. And next thing you know, later on that year, one of my old co-workers just told me, the, do you remember the people that was causing you issues? They got up and fired, you know, lost money and everything, you know, because they kept my checks and all that. I mean, it was just my friend was like, you ain't gonna come up here and try to get your money. I said, girl, if I come up there, the cops gonna be leaving with me in the, in the back of the car. I'm not going up there. You know, it's just better say I ain't got no bail money. But, you know, I had to deal with that. I had to deal with it for what it's worth because I knew I was better than that. You know, that's their character. If they want to show out and be very unprofessional at a job because you hated who I was related to, that that's not my fault. That's not my issue. That's your issue. You know, so, you know, when I had to fix, deal with things like that, I know I couldn't control my environment, but I can control the step out of that environment if it wasn't healthy for me. So basically just fix the things you can fix in your life and, you know, especially when it comes to people and, you know, how they come at you, especially if you have no choice but to have to deal with folks like that, just pray for them. You know, walk away, keep yourself from a distance you know, and just sit back and watch God will let you, God in the universe, I allow you to sip on that tea while you're watching the magic work for itself. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video and I hope you stay blessed and have the best, blessed, best and blessed day for your weekend. Um, like and subscribe, even drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. And, um... You know, subscribe so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there, you know, praying for your better days. Send as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And um, my post notification shout out goes to Silky J86 and Julie Carey. Much love to you. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace and be well.